So I have a clean so I have a clean installation of Windows 7 on this computer and the very first thing that you'd want to do is make sure that the Windows security settings are on. So I'm going to go over here to the control panel and I'm going to click on system and security. Okay, so I want to check the Windows firewall to make sure the firewall is turned on. And it says it is turned on, which is good. If it wasn't, I would just turn it back on. Uh, some of the other things that you want to look at uh, right off the bat, turn on or off Windows Update. So if I click on this, install updates automatically this is what I want so any uh, important security updates I'll get they'll be installed right away and I want to check for any updates now so there's 10 important updates so I'll click install updates and this will take a while to install the updates depending on what they are my machine might have to reboot or something like that so I'll just let that run Okay, so the Windows Automatic Updates finished installing and rebooted my computer for me. So now I have my firewall turned on. I have all the latest security and stability updates downloaded. I'm ready to do a couple other things. One of the most important things that you can do to keep your computer safe and healthy is install an antivirus software, and there's some other security software to install. So I'm going to go to the web to install this. Now this is a topic I covered in a previous tutorial. It's a site called Ninite.com. There are tons and tons of uh, useful free software applications that you can make a bulk installer for. Just bundle all these up into one thing. It's like three mouse clicks and it'll install all these different applications at once. So I want to talk about some of the security things that you really need to install on your computer. Uh, I took the Microsoft Security Essentials Pack. Um, AVG, it's the uh, free antivirus software. I think it's the best one out there, as good as any of the paid ones. Uh, Avast is another one that's similar. I just like AVG a little more. Uh, Malwarebytes will check for uh, spyware and things on your computer. Spybot will also do that. And then I just grabbed a couple of these other things. Uh, so Flash, .NET, Silverlight, and Java. These are frameworks that uh, lots and lots of different applications are going to need to run. So you might as well just install them now with uh, just a couple extra mouse clicks, and that's all it takes. And when I'm done, I'll just come down to the bottom and click Get Installer. And download the installer. So once the installer is downloaded to my computer, I'm going to run it. I'll close Internet Explorer. I'll double click the installer to launch it. And I'll click the Run button to start the installer. Security in the system is going to ask if I want to allow this to run. I do, so I'll say yes. And it will begin downloading and installing all the applications that I configured. This might take a little while, but this is the last button that you'll have to click, and it will do everything else for you automatically. Okay, so now that all of your applications have finished installing, you can just click the close button here and close that. And I want to set up some of these applications to protect and maintain the computer. The first one I want to start with is the AVG antivirus, so I'm going to double click on that. So when AVG opens up, there's a couple different places you can click. If you go to overview, it will say antivirus database is outdated. So if you click update, it will go out and get the latest updates for the antivirus. So once all the updates are downloaded and installed, you're ready to go. If you want to do a manual stall, if you want to do a manual scan, you can click on computer scanner and scan the whole computer, or you can select specific files and folders to scan. And you can look at your scan history, things like that. So basically, you want to just turn this on, set the updates, and it will take care of itself. It'll be running. You'll see it in the system tray when it's running. Now, another important application that you want to install is a spyware tool. So if I click on Spybot Search and Destroy. So when Spybot Search and Destroy opens up, you want to do a couple things. First thing you want to do is, just like the antivirus, you want to search for updates. If there's any updates to the software or the spyware definitions, it will pull them down for you. So 
So you just download the new virus. That when that's done, just click the exit button. And when that's done, the software will restart itself. So you can do just like the antivirus. You can check for spyware here. Just click check for problems and it will scan your computer. You just say yes, it will just run a quick scan. And if there's anything there, it'll tell you about it and it will let you remove it. So that's about it. I wanna launch another application, Malware Bytes, which is an anti-malware software. So this will run a scan of your computer to check for any malware you could go to update, check for updates. This is the same for any of these kind of software. They need the latest list of bad stuff to look for. So if it's on your computer, they can find it. So when it's updated, you can just click scan. You can do a quick scan or a full scan and it will check your computer for any infections. And it's pretty much like the antivirus or the spyware. It just runs its course and if it finds something, it will give you instructions and it will remove it for you usually. So those are some of the main security applications that you'd want to install on your new computer. Uh, another thing that you'd want to do is some maintenance applications, and I'm going to talk about them next. Okay, so once you've finished installing and turning on your antivirus, your spyware, and your malware software, there's a couple other things I want to talk about. After you've been using your computer for a while, uh, junk starts to build up and other th wacky things start happening with your computer. So I have two applications here that you should run probably uh, once a week or once every two weeks to keep your computer running as good as it can. The first one is CCleaner. This is one of my favorite Windows applications and it's free. What CCleaner does is clean up all the junk files and cookies and all kinds of junk on your computer that you don't need there. So in the cleaner tab, you just click uh, analyze and it will show you all the stuff that needs to be cleaned from your computer. I shouldn't have too much stuff there. I just installed Windows about an hour ago. So if I click run cleaner, it will delete all that unnecessary stuff from your computer. If you look here under applications, you can set things for your browsers and other things like that. What type of information it will check for. Now, registry, this one's really great. This will really help keep your computer running properly. As you start installing and uninstalling different applications, all kind of weird things happen to your registry. And a lot of times they get out of whack and they cause stuff to run improperly. So if I go here and say scan for issues, it scans your registry and identifies any problems in it. And if I click fix selected issues, it will fix them. First thing it says is do I want to back up my registry? So I'm going to say yes. This way, if anything bad happens, I can always revert to the backup copy. So I will save it under Documents. Then I want to fix all the selected issues. They've all been fixed, so I'll hit Close. And believe me, when you've had your computer running for a while, uninstalled, and installed different types of software and things like that, uh, this gets out of whack really fast. So you need to keep on top of this. Uh, under Tools, there's another couple useful things. For uninstalling, if you find an application you don't want, just click on it and hit Run on Installer. And if you click the Startup, you can see all the applications that are running at, at Startup. So I have a couple here that I don't want running. I don't want this Google Update, so I'll disable that. I don't want this Java Update running. And I don't want the Microsoft Security essentials running so I'll disable that so that will turn off all those things and will only keep on the things that you the other application I wanted to show you for periodic maintenance is a defragmentation software called defragler now Windows has defragmentation software built into it but defragler is a lot better lighter and faster so I would say run this maybe once a month so you just wanna click on your hard drive and say defrag and it will scan through and look for any defragmented files and start to clean them up. Now again, there shouldn't be too much defragmentation on this hard drive. There, there's really no data on it. I just installed Windows. But when your computer's been running for a couple of months, believe me, this gets out of whack uh, pretty fast. So those are a couple of things you can do immediately when you set up your computer and then add